What's up? What's up? Just chilling. Coming back with it again, freestyle. Just thought I'd hit you with the maiden flight of the saucer hexacopter. I'm just joking, you know. The JGRC H18 mini drone, hexa drone, hexacopter, whatever you want to call it. Um, haven't got a chance to fly this one yet. Seems like there's only one rate. I didn't see anything about rates in the manual, and it comes with one of your typical, uh, you know, a little bigger than the smallest nano style transmitters, but it's still a nano transmitter. There's your uh, your shoulder buttons are your trim. You know, as you can see, L and R, so I imagine that's left and right trim. There's F and B, so it's probably forward, back trim. You know, there's your throttle, there's your directional stick. Um, I think you press and hold the uh, throttle in, too. I don't know if you press it and click it or press it and hold it, but I, I, it says you, you know, press it to activate headless mode. And um, to activate your flips, you... Uh, you press your directional stick in, and then, you know, if you want to flip forward, you'll go up, backwards, down, leftward, left, rightward, right. So with that said, let's go ahead and get going. All right, made in flights. Check her out. Okay, so, ooh. Okay, so there we go. Oh, it's kind of faster, right, you know? Looks to be kind of nice. Whoa. I took off a little bit on me there. Okay, let's see what the... Let's see what the yaw looks like. Okay, so here's the yaw. Oh, it's got kind of a nice yaw. Whoa. Took a little, little bit. Took off on me a little bit. But it looked like the yaw was fairly... Uh, Really nice. I was kind of liking that while I was uh, doing it. So let's see. Let's go ahead and throw it down there a little bit more. So there's a yaw. If you can see that, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> I tried to stop the yaw, but the transmitter button got stuck and it didn't want to come back. So it's got nice yaw, decent yaw for the one rate that I think it has. So let's go ahead and let's see what the flips look like. So we'll go ahead and get it up there a bit. Okay. Uh, pretty sensitive on this right here. So let's, let's try to... Okay, I don't know why it beat twice. Kind of got a little high on the flip there. Let's try another it looks like it gives itself a little bit of elevation, it flips, and then it gives itself more elevation. So I don't know if you could see that. So flips are nice, so they're kind of nice. There's another one. Okay, let's see the yaw again. Let's try to do some funnels. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to get a little bit of those on lock. I don't know if you could uh, see the funnels with this thing, but it, it could do them. So one thing that's it's the... Transmitter is getting stuck for some reason. I don't know. It's weird. It's like the directional stick is getting stuck, so that's why it's cutting out on me. But uh, <clears throat> okay. And to calibrate it, I believe you press them down and left. Let's see. I don't see any blinking there, so I'm not positive on how to do that. Let's go ahead and try the headless now. So I think you. Okay, it's beeping, so I imagine that's headless. Oh, no good. Didn't quite, uh, didn't quite take off like it should have. So let's go ahead and let's try headless again. No, nope. headless don't want to work. So, okay. Let's see if we can calibrate it. Some kind of calibration of some sort. Okay. Alright. Alright, sure. Alright, well, let's try headless one more time. No. Headless is a no go. Okay, how about, so after headless, 
we can that's pretty much it there's not much to show on this headless um one rate your flips um you know i guess if anything if you want to fly it out now and maybe we'll, we'll try to get fancy there do some more uh, i'm gonna see if clicking this right stick let's try another flip okay so there's a back flip let's let's try a leftward side flip so let's see that ready okay so that's not bad let's try a right a right sideward flip okay not bad let's go ahead and try some more funnels i don't know if you guys could see that okay that's only thing i don't like is the transmitter stick the transmitter st uh, stick seems to stick when i start giving it yaw to one direction so i can't cut it off it's really weird like when trying to do those funnels like you know it's, it's like rather weird i mean it, it stays good for a while but oh <laughs> gotta be careful here all right so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and let's just fly it out we're just gonna fly this one out you know i'll be see it i don't know what else to do i guess you want to see some yaw there there's a so there's its yaw there okay but yeah what's really weird is it's it's getting stuck when i'm doing the yaw the transmitter stick so let's try the yaw the the other way okay so there's a yaw to that side. It looks like it's about, looks like it's about the same, but it got away from me again. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and try another. Uh, let's try to calibrate it. I'm gonna try to put both sticks, the right downward and the left. Okay, yeah. If you could see that calibrated, it, it's going fast. So what you do is you put your right your directional stick right and downward and your throttle stick left and downward so now let's try headless okay well looks like i might have got headless this time so yeah looks like we did okay so it looks like if you guys can see that that's back and forth uh, back and forth yaw there headless yaw so that's pretty cool Headless did work this time, and I, I do have a feeling it was because of the, the calibration. But we do got headless working. So look at that. The pitch is rather nice. Okay. The only thing I don't like, I had to cut it out, is because, um, like I said, the, it seems like the throttle stick on the transmitter is getting stuck. So when I'm giving it yaw, it's not, you know, like snapping back to normal position when I'm releasing my thumb it's like sticking there so it's almost like the yaw is sticking because the transmitter is sticking so you know I'm not able to maneuver it um, the way I want to but it definitely headless did work but what I had to do first was I put it flat and I'll actually turn it towards you so you can see the front is orientated by these two white blades and the light so to calibrate it you'll put your right directional stick to the right and downward and your left directional stick to the left and downward and i'm facing this light towards you so you can see so if you can see the light see how the light blinks fast so that means it's calibrating so as soon as you let go of that it'll start blinking normal so once i calibrated it and tried headless it had worked fine so let's just go ahead and fly it out we might as well um I'm pretty much enjoying this one. I like it. It's it's even though it's got one rate, it's a nice, decently fast, or at least one rate that I can see. It's a nice, decently um fast rate. The yaw is pretty fast for the rate. The flips are kind of cool. You know, it looks like it elevates before the flip flips, and then even elevates after it lands the flip. So that's kind of cool. And battery life seems to be good. I don't have really many complaints other than. The transmitter, it seems like this uh, left directional, I'm sorry, this left throttle stick is like when I'm trying to do yaw, it's like sticking. It's not, you know, or you can just 
turn it to that side and do yaw and then let it go and it you know it, it, it when I'm letting it go it's still sticking in the yaw position so I don't like that I mean and I think that could probably just be something with the transmitter not the actual uh, you know hexa drone or I guess you could say hexacopter or you know hexacopter itself but let's just fly it out I like this one it's cool Seems nice, you know, I didn't put any trim, I kind of left it the way it, the way it is, so see, it, it's weird because this uh, throttle stick gets stuck when I try to put some yaw on it, but when I just elevate it, it's, it's not bad, you know, it's, it's decently sharp, the pitch, I like it, you know, pretty nice, and the flips are pretty, pretty good on it too, as you can see, it's got some nice Pretty nice flips, you know. The headless did work great after I uh, recalibrated it. And to recalibrate it, you press your throttle stick, your left throttle stick, downward and left, and your right directional stick, downward and right. So, pretty nice. It's pretty stable, you know. Send it out there, and it's, you know, it might need a little bit of trim as it, you know, you could tell it's drifting way over there. But I try to compensate for anything just you know myself I don't like to put trim on these things if, if you can control it I mean if you have to you have to but I like to try to kind of be more user controlled than myself you know because sometimes it seems like when you put a lot of trim or in my case well there we go that was Alfie C but when I put a lot of trim it uh you know kind of makes things a little bit worse than not but there you had it that was a the maiden flight of the uh JJRC H uh, JJRC H18 and it did a uh, hit a uh, LVC. I'm just trying to see if I could launch it off, but no, it's it's done. So um, there's it. H JJRC H18 hexacopter, hexa drone, whatever you want to call it. They call it mini drone, but it is a you know six blade, so it is a hex. Um, JJRC H18 mini hex maiden day flight. All right. Have a good one. Peace out.